<coughs> hello, hello. Hey guys, uh, it's the uh, NFL Week 16. It's the Chunk Podcast. This is Justin recovering from sickness, as you can hear. Uh, and uh, we have JJ and Reggie here on the podcast to do 99% of the heavy lifting because I'm frankly over it. How you doing, guys? What up? Good. I think what somebody up? somebody heard you and like turned around in their car. They Wait. thought maybe that somebody coughed. Oh, really? And, like that's just a very jarring way to start a podcast. It is. It is. It's you know everyone probably immediately just turned it off. But if you made it this far through the coughing and through the sickness and the horrible sounding voice, you did it. It's week sixteen in the NFL. It's actually championship week in fantasy football leagues, most traditional Ooh. fantasy football leagues. If you have a week seventeen championship. I suggest you leave that fantasy football league. And- <laughs> I don't know. That's the dumbest thing ever. Everyone's sitting, and there's no play in week 17. Yeah, it's no, awful. Good. It's week 16, and uh, we do. I will admit, I have failed miserably. I made it right on the doorstep again. Uh, I'm a perennial loser. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened this year. Aaron Jones hit me with a dud. Um, you know, just it was a weak performance all out for my team, and uh, I just want to say... The Aquamanatees will be back again next year for another second and or third place finish. Uh, I'm real excited to, so, uh, to get please, back at it. Please, please change your team. Is that is that what the problem is? The problem is my team name? Bad luck. Yeah, it's bad luck. You know what's super depressing? I was in our league, the Chunk League, I was dead last, 2-11, and 11, 12th place. But if you go by hell well teams were coached i was third okay i understand third place i lost the the least amount of points to the bench okay at least that is that is both a good thing and i would i will say that is also kind of a negative that just means you didn't have good players all across the board <laughs> right. i'm just saying i'm just That's saying what i'm saying Ugh. my draft was horrible uh, horrible ross ross booty reggie you got to get up a little closer on the microphone man the people can't hear what you're saying I Your can't hear what you're saying. It was booty, JJ. As it was booty. Better. It okay. was booty, and then I made some trades, and it was still booty. Speaking well, of fantasy, I had the highest points, which I think they should give you some kind of like extra points. Like you do the best you can, but the points against you can't control that. So I messed up. And wait, that's one game out of the playoff. You had the highest points scored. Is that what you're saying? No points against me. Oh yeah, well that means you got to play better defense, dude. I don't know how else to describe this. You gotta you gotta play better D. That's not a real thing. Well. Sorry about your luck. Anyway, neither of us made it to the championship. Uh, but Lynch uh, Lynch did make it to the championship, and Jimmy made it to the championship. Wait, no, wait. Jimmy didn't make it to the championship. Nick made it to the championship. I'm playing Jimmy for the third place game. And I guess those are the only games that matter this week because those are the only ones where you can actually win your money back or money in general. I'm playing for my league fee back. That's what we get for third place. Uh, second, we'll get double the league fee and then the rest of the money will go to first which again will be either lynch or nick so screw both we, of we them put, we put money on this yeah actually uh <laughs> did you not yeah you, yeah well bucks, I, wasn't i'm still kind of waiting for jj's but we'll get it you know we'll get it when the time comes though oh, well, it's shit. all right <laughs> we'll come knocking JJ. uh but anyway uh, again I, I'm, I'm out of it in my work league too so i'll be playing in two third place games this year but anyway, we're here for week 16 in the NFL. We're going to run run it down, see what maybe uh, – not that you need fantasy football help at this point, but we just want to talk about these teams such as the hot, rocking, flame-throwing Washington Redskins taking on the Tennessee Titans. It's Thursday night football. Wait, is this Thursday night? No, this isn't. There's no Thursday night football anymore. That was – it's Saturday Saturday evening. night. It's Saturday evening football. Everybody wants to hunker down. Stop your plans on Saturday. And watch the Washington Redskins take on the Tennessee Titans. Who the hell is going to win this game? Definitely the Titans. Yeah. Well, I, actually, I mean, I only say that because Mark Sanchez is leading the Redskins, and the Shan- the Sanchez is over. I have to say that. Is he still Sanchez? at the court? They haven't pulled him yet. I'm pretty sure he started last week too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, the Redskins. You got like two quarterbacks who broke their legs. Oh no! Wait, it's oh, no, Josh it was Johnson. Cody Kessler. I thought, oh no, I lied. Josh it was Johnson. Josh Johnson. Josh yes. Johnson. Who hasn't played football in like seven years? They just re-signed him, and they're like, "Please, do anything better." And he actually just got a win, so I guess you can't really complain. But yeah, anyway, fifty-one yards and a touchdown. They're still butt cheeks. I really don't think we need to spend much time on this game. But uh, hold, the, on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Do the skins still have a chance to make the playoffs? They do. They do if because the Cowboys lose out. 
Oh my gosh. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if the Redskins make the playoffs, oh my gosh. I, that's going to be some awful, awful playoff games that I don't want to watch. But I'm picking, e I'm picking the Eagles Titans fans in this one. And Dallas, Dallas fans will just collaboratively get really depressed if the Redskins get into the playoffs. Yeah, Alex Smith will roll over in his infected grave. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I, no, he's doing okay. Apparently he's out of the hospital. His leg has finally healed from that, that vicious – it was a Thanksgiving, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he got messed up pretty bad. Yeah, something like that. Uh, no, it wasn't uh, Cowboys. I thought, they, I thought that's when he got hurt. I don't know. I think it was week, it was week before because the Cowboys played – we played uh, Colt McCoy. Oh, true. I mean, seriously, though, what are the odds of having your starter and backup both break their legs? Oh, man. I don't know. I, Colt McCoy, to me, was a legend. I was excited to see some more of that. But, again, they did just get a win last week, and their playoff hopes are still alive. Unfortunately, I do think the Titans win this game, um, and I don't really want to spend any more time talking on it because I'm not going to waste my Saturday watching this football game. Eh. Uh, At movie. least not Saturday evening. Well, no, it's 4.30. 4.30 on a pre Saturday. Pre-evening. It's pre-evening. Yes. Uh, moving on, we can go to Saturday night, the 8 o'clock game. We're going to see the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be a good game. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. And I will just say in your face, everybody, this is the first week, like the, the weekly NFL podcast that we've been doing all season. The first one where I didn't say San Diego Chargers, by the way. I said I Los Angeles know. Chargers. So I did it. So week 16, I did it. Yes, it's the championship week for me, too. Thank you. I did it. Uh, no, but I, I think it's going to be a pretty good game. The Chargers are, I mean, based off of what we've seen from, like, the Saints are kind of waffling, even though that they got a win, and, like, the Rams are kind of looking like butt cheeks now. The Chargers might be the best team in the league right now. I don't know what's going on with them. They they definitely have just had a lot of quiet success here. But, dude, Lamar Jackson is four for five, and they barely lost to the Chiefs. Yeah, I, that's okay. Now I get it. Lamar Jackson's been good, but now they have a healthy, uh, a healthy Joseph Flacco pull, uh, pull holding his weight. I feel like the second that something bad happens with Lamar Jackson, they'll be like, "Do you want to go back to this old guy we're paying, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars for? Is that should we just probably let him uh, finish the season out? Because they've already said that they're going to move on from Joe Flacco. They said this is your last year, um, but we're going to use you if we need you. Just be ready." Is that yeah, like the most? I doubt they're gonna need him. He's they're hot handed Lamar. Decent. You gotta, you gotta give Lamar the rest of the season. I mean, he turned it around for them. Yeah, yeah but I'm just. The, what's the point of playing Flacco if you got Lamar Jackson play the rest of the the whole be a franchise quarterback? Okay, well there right. is a point because if he hits a wall where he's just like he's not maybe he throws like six picks in a game or like three picks even. If it hits a point where you're seeing he's a little flustered, why wouldn't you put your Super Bowl winning quarterback that you're paying hundreds of millions of dollars for? Back in to be like, hey, can you get us out of this rut? Maybe we'll win it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll make the playoffs. Maybe we'll go a little deeper. I don't know. I feel like that's still on the table. Because then, what if Flacco balls out? Then you got to keep him. No, you don't Lamar's keep him. You've bust, already you've already said you're moving on from him. But this could be like his just like swan song out. You know Where what I mean? Imagine shop him around, man. Yeah, or imagine Flacco just like wins a championship for him again one more time, and he's like, "Yep, I'll see you guys in hell." Like tap dances no, out of there. If if Flacco wins a Super Bowl, you keep him. I I don't right? think I don't think they will, dude. I don't, I think they're ready to move on to Lamar Jackson. But I I mean Flacco's. Let's be real, Flacco's not going to win a, a Super Bowl for this team right now. But yeah, but the team's good. It they is. Are, they are in the playoffs right now. But will I mean, they? If, but will they win this game? Will they beat the the Chargers? Probably not. Yeah, I don't. Actually, in Los Angeles, I don't think they're going to beat it. I'm going to write down but, here that. But I that Week 16 game against the Browns could end up being real exciting. Wait, the, oh, the next, the, the next week is there? A, if if the Ravens oh. lose and the Browns win, their final game will determine who goes to the playoffs for them. Okay, that's kind of cool. But I, I mean, who knows? I, I, I think the Chargers are going to take this one, and uh, it's actually a pretty decent Saturday night game. I'm kind of thrilled about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna watch it. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I don't. I don't blame you. Uh, but will you be watching on uh, Sunday at one o'clock when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the scariest team in the NFL, play <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys? The you damn right. I'll be watching. What and what are you? What will you be expecting from that game? I'm expecting the Cowboys should demolish the Bucks. They're a legit contender. If they're if they are who's 
who they say they are. They should be the dude. They just got blanked by the Colts, though. Yeah. No, I I have no idea. Like they went, they just won five in a row. They're feeling all hot, and then they get cocky, and I don't know. I don't understand. Crazy. Well, you know what they are they doing beat though. The Saints. They're throw. They, they did. They they what? Yeah, they beat the Saints, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But still. I just watched the game. I watched, everything I saw from that was basically give the ball to Zeke and just pray something good happens. And he didn't. He wasn't able to bust anything because everybody knew what the hell was going on. I don't know why they exactly. didn't. Exactly, and that's the problem with the Cowboys. If we make the playoffs, that's what a good team's going to do: is stack the box, make Dak beat. You. Dak is a mediocre at best. He's Damn! So Did you hear that, Tony? Did you hear that, he's Tony not, Romo? He's not Tony Romo. He's so average. Oh, damn. So is. Okay, but who are you I, picking? Who are you gonna pick in this game then? Is it are you picking Bucks or are you picking Cowboys? Picking the Cowboys just because they're at home. They okay. have a tendency to choke away big game, but I I pray to God that I don't even big though. They don't. They better not come into this game thinking it's big. It's the Buccaneers. It's it's I, big for them because if they win them, then then it, they win the division. Yeah, JJ, what do you think is gonna happen? Uh, I think it'd be more exciting if they lost, just because I want to see that <laughs> NFC East scramble. <laughs> But honestly, I think they'll probably beat the Buccaneers. Jameis Winston is really bad. And Vander Esch is going to be running all over them. Let's go. Um, I, 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 that dude is a beast. And I, in Jerry's world, I think the Cowboys win this weekend. Okay. All right. I, I agree. Uh, sadly, I, 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 didn't, uh, I didn't pick them last week. I, I, I'm really a big fan of not picking the Cowboys. Um, <laughs> in this one, I, I think my hands are tied. I really, I, I mean, they, they need it. And they're playing the Buccaneers, who I'm just not thrilled with. So yeah, I, I, I'll take the Cowboys in this one. So naturally, they'll probably they'll probably lose. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings are taking on the Detroit Lions, a little NFC North battle. Not that it matters much for the Lions, but the Vikings have been playing well. At least last week they did. Uh, I'm going to take the Vikings in this one. I think Dalvin Cook's finally coming on. Uh, he's showing why I traded Julio Jones for him in the very beginning of the season. Even though I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really keep him in fantasy. I didn't really keep Dalvin Cook long enough to make it matter. But uh, I'm gonna pick the Vikings in this one. I don't, I don't know what else there really is to say. Well, yeah. we told we told people to sell Dalvin Cook, and now he's finally showing why people very sadly took him in the first round draft. Um, but yeah, I think the Vikings are probably gonna win this, especially since the Lions just lost to the Bills. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, they're bad. I mean, Matthew Stafford is very good and, uh, carry on is, is pretty good, but I just don't see them beating the well, Vikings. Carry on is carry gone. If you know what I'm saying, he actually just got put on IR. So no Did way. He really? Yes. Oh, he's, he gone. So I think it's, uh, Le- it's legerit blount and, uh, oh boy. and, uh, your boy, I think Riddick, Riddick reg basically lives there. I don't know. Every single year he finds a way to relevancy. And uh, I think, oh no, no, it's like Zach Zenner got like a butt last week too. I don't Yo, know. Whatever happened to Joik? Oh, Joik Roger, Rogers? Joik, Joik Bell? Joik Bell. Yeah, what I don't know. What happened to Joik Bell? I don't know. I don't know. He had like one crazy like finish to a fantasy football season and then he disappeared. I, don't, I have no idea what happened to him. He, we, we need like a where are they now Joik Bell <laughs> podcast. But maybe we'll have to yeah, look it up. Joy. I don't know if anybody's checking it out, but we'll have to figure that out. Maybe we'll circle yeah, back I'm, around on that. I'm taking a look here. Okay. Meanwhile. Move on to the next game, though. Yeah, meanwhile, we'll go to the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers, who officially have pulled Cameron Newton from their lineup. He is not going to be playing the rest of the season as they are now eliminated from the playoffs, even though they, just a few weeks ago, controlled their own destiny, and then they decided to choke it away like multiple really? multiple weeks straight, even though I they have – one of the best players in the league, Christian McCaffrey, they still found a way to choke it away. Um, but they're taking on the Atlanta Falcons and with, uh, the Panthers without Cameron Newton. Why do I keep calling him Cameron? I don't know. Who's starting for them? Quarterback. Probably Jimmy Clausen or something. I don't know. Who the Jimmy hell is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's backing him up. I, we probably should look into that too, but I don't think it really matters at this point. If Matt Ryan and Julio Jones are still playing on the other side, it's going to be the Atlanta Falcons, right? Yeah, I think so. Might as well. I mean, who if the Fa- if the Panthers backup quarterback beats the Falcons? Well, I think they're about done with their season too, but I don't know. Are, we'll see. Are they out of the <clears throat> out of the playoff race? That's a good question. Let me Yeah, look. they're they're not in it. They're 
Oh they're yeah, under they're six wins. Five and nine, yeah, they're butt cheeks. Oh, yeah, they're done. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna actually call a Panthers victory Ooh. in this. Um, and I think it's mostly because Christian McCaffrey. He's just gonna throw. He did throw a 50 yard touchdown last week. <laughs> he, he's probably the best quarterback on the team when Cameron Cam Newton's not playing. So <laughs> Cameron, I don't know why I keep saying Cameron. <laughs> I said it first. I said it first as a joke, and now it's like all I can say is Cameron Newton. <laughs> It just seems like the the best way to say it. Uh, anyway, I'm picking the Falcons in this one just be, just out of principle. I can't I can't pick a team without a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, uh, do we do we get an update on Joyke Bell? Is he still alive? He is. He hasn't been playing since 2016. There's an article as of June 29th, 2018, that says. Joyk hasn't been in the football for a minute, so he's showing <laughs> off his baseball skills. Oh. He might try out for the Detroit Tigers. Okay. Really? I don't know he's a baseball player. I don't think uh, he is. He I, I don't think be. Tebow is either, but look at him go. <laughs> uh, anyway. Me started. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can go on to the uh, Houston Texans taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the Eagles just got a win last week that uh, may have shocked some people. The, uh, the, Rams. the Rams friggin' lost. The Jared Goff threw probably the worst throw I've seen all season right into the chest of a defensive lineman who then, I think, ran it back for a touchdown. I don't know what was going on there, but Jared Goff has looked very pedestrian these last few games. I don't know what's going on with the Rams, but anyway, that's not who we're talking about right now. The Eagles got the win, and they're taking on the Houston Texans, who are right up there to me. With like the Chargers right now, I think they're they're both really good teams that are hitting their stride. I'm gonna pick the Texans in this one. I don't think it's gonna be close. Um, as a Cowboys fan, I need the Texans to win. If they win, then the Cowboys playoff. I think. Um, so yeah, I pray to God Texans smash the Eagles. Yeah, and I I need it. I I think I've been kind of a bystander living in a world of uh, Philadelphia fans. Um, And I think that they definitely look, um, what's the word? They look like they're trying, Okay. but their destiny is not in their hands. The second the Cowboys win, they're done. Who's trying? Um, You say the Eagles are trying? The Eagles are trying. Yeah, they well, I mean, they got good. they look pretty good. They got they but, finally got their best quarterback, the Super Bowl MVP plan. Nick Foles, I think, is actually going to be playing now. So, well, and they got uh, they got Smallwood and Sproles back, so their run game has a little bit of life. But I am going to take the Texans. Actually, um, I think that they're just the better team. Um, Though this is probably a pretty close toss up. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah and I think right now the Texans have. Uh, like buy right? Oh, yeah. if they win out, they get a first round buy. Yeah, for sure, they get first round buy, and I think they get home field. I think it, the way it, the way it's looking, I think for the Texans right now. Yeah, so they're pretty good. So I I hope they beat the Eagles and let the Cowboys rest easy, back our way into the playoffs. That's the way. That's all you can ask for is just to back <laughs> it in, and then have you know, or you can dack it in if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Well, right. If the if the Eagles and Redskins lose this week, the Cowboys clinch as well. Let's, they don't have. Let's to go. Let's go. I I'll, I listen. The Packers are out, so you listen. I I would love to see the Cowboys make the playoffs. I'd like to see you enjoy a playoff game where Aaron Rodgers doesn't eliminate the Cowboys. <laughs> um, that is something. Yes. <laughs> he do. He loves murdering them. Uh, anyway, the New York Giants taking on the Colts. The Giants actually also got blanked. Um, they didn't score anything last week, and the Colts actually just shut a team out last week. So, which that leads me to believe the Colts are going to win probably by 100 points in this game. So I'm going to take the Colts. <laughs> uh, the Giants just suck, dude. I don't know. Eli Manning needs to disintegrate. Thanos needs to snap his fingers. <laughs> Thanos, get him, Thanos. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to do, but I, I'm about done watching Eli Manning play football. It's just sad and floppy for some reason. Their line is pretty bad, but they also have Odell Beckham and Saquon Barkley. Um, they, should, I, they should rest them ASAP. Yeah, right? for sure. I, I, I think that the Colts, the Colts are definitely going to win, and they may... I mean, they're definitely in contention for that wild card spot over the Ravens, um, and the and the you know the rest of the contenders here. I have no idea how the Titans are eight and six and the Dolphins are seven and seven, 
but that's just the universe we live in right now. Um, I think that T.Y. Hilton and uh, and and Andrew Luck are getting it done, and they're going to spank the Giants. I think. Yeah, this game I don't think is going to be close. And like again, la- this is the same thing we said last year. What the hell? How are the Titans winning? How are they like a winning football team right now? Like they look like trash. They'll beat like a really good team, and we'll be like, oh man, they are pretty good. And then they'll disappear and and, and blow a bunch of games. But they've they're still in the contention. I don't I don't understand. They're like considerably in contention. So do you guys think the the Giants are gonna tank? Try to get a quarterback with like a top oh, yeah. five draft pick. Oh yeah, yeah. They're going for quarterback. That, they year. don't have a choice. Well, they get they pick Saquon consciously this year. I think I think. I mean, obviously, this coming draft, they have to address the quarterback position or else. Unless they want Eli 2.0 and they snag Flacco. Or Geno Smith. No, okay. <laughs> no. They can just keep – they have Geno Smith, right? Isn't he just sitting there? No, nah, he's gone. Oh, he gone. All right. Never mind. I, I guess they could sign Flacco and draft quarterback. At the top. They could. Isn't that what um, the Browns did? They were like, let's get Mayfield and then sign Tyrod. You know what I mean? Like – it works that way. I mean, I think that's a pretty decent way to do it, where you let the veteran just do the job for a little bit, and then they're like, okay, this guy's ready. Bring him in, and then just trade him or you know, get some sort of asset from him. I think that's a Yeah, decent. I mean, it's a win-win because if the quarterback does well, they probably get signed by another team. Yeah. And then if, and if they do do well, then obviously <laughs> the team has has success. I know I said do do. Damn it, you said do do. Okay. Do <laughs> do. All right. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals, who are, are pretty sure are eliminated as well, are taking on yep. the uh, Cleveland Browns, who, despite the fact that they wait, are they they're, they're eliminated, right? I think there was nope, like they're a, in the running, baby. There's if like a they scenario. Win and the Ravens lose. If the Browns <laughs> win out, they're they have a chance to be in the wild card. Okay, that's. Pretty incredible, but I, I think even if they were eliminated, this season has already been like a Super Bowl run for them. I don't think that they would ever. They're they're done tanking. These are young players. They want to they want to keep getting wins, and they want to like establish a mentality there. Um, I I freaking love it. I think they're easy, not easy, but I think they're gonna win this one pretty handily, and then they'll. Well, I don't know how the yeah. season's gonna shake out. Week seventeen is gonna be a train wreck. I don't know what's it gonna is. happen. It's gonna I be saw, crazy. I saw a post on Instagram. It was like for the Browns to make the playoffs, like all these to like tie. And yes. Like all these other crazy scenarios happen. It is. Uh, I, I think it's the. Uh, it might even be the Colts next week. Who who the Colts play? Colts and Titans. I think. Have, if the if the Browns win out, and the Colts and the Texans next week have to tie. That's how the Browns can make the playoffs. That's what do I saw. Steeler, do the Steelers have the tie breaker over the Browns? I think so. Yeah, they were going to win the division. I think the Steelers have the division. If the Steelers lose out though, and the Browns win out, they have the same record. Yes. So I guess the Steelers must have Steelers. The tiebreaker. They do. Steelers have the divisional tiebreaker. Yeah, it's weird. It's a, it's a freaking weird. I, I it, there's. I mean, what are the odds that the Colts and Titans actually tie? But I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad at the Browns being in the playoffs. No, I mean obviously I think people would root for them all day. So I don't know. We'll see. It'll be pretty good. Uh the but Buffalo yeah, I also agree that the Browns will win this game. Yeah. Uh Buffalo Bills are taking on the New England Patriots, who they've kind of looked pretty crappy. I was gonna say some swear words. Oh my goodness. Uh but they've Beep. they've looked pretty crappy uh these last few weeks as well. But and and uh Josh Allen, is it Josh Allen? Why am I not? Yes. Yes, I just blacked out for a second. He's <laughs> he's looked pretty good though. Uh, I mean, for as a runner and as a quarterback, he's coming on pretty good. And I actually thought about starting him over Aaron Rodgers last week. It would have got me seven more fantasy points. I still would have lost, sadly though. But I almost did it. I might even do it this week in the third place game. What do I have to lose? I'm yeah. rooting for the Bills. Obviously, obviously. Be- because <laughs> listen to this. This is how petty I am. If the Bills win out, or sorry, if the Bills win this week and the Dolphins win out, the Dolphins have a chance to win the division and the Patriots won't make the playoffs for the Wait, first what? year. And like, what? If the Patriots lose out, the Dolphins have a chance to make the playoffs over them. I. How? Yeah, the <laughs> because the pa- lost, they, just, they just lost two in a row. First time in. The Dolphins, the Dolphins have the most recent victory over the Patriots in the division, 
and the Patriots and the Dolphins would finish with the same record. So the Dolphins would win the division, I think. Well, okay. I mean, there's there is still a scenario. It looks like where they, yeah, they haven't locked up the division according to this. There's no way the Patriots lose this game at home versus the Bills. Ooh, and then they play the and then they play the Jets in Week 17. So the chances are not very likely. But I want to believe that there's a chance that the Patriots don't make the playoffs. Oh, look, at, I'm not going to be – I honestly, I don't think I'd be shocked if the Bills won this game. Why? How? Look, the Bills – okay, listen, they don't have a running back on the roster. Everybody's dead. But I think that their their offense is still explosive. I think that they've this dude that's Foster dude and Zay Jones, I think, are two pretty decent wide receivers that are – that. Allen, I think – I don't know. I think you're going to see like a weird fluke game where like the Patriots surprisingly have to try – they're probably gonna no, win, but there's no way the Patriots lose three games in a row. They're like that never happened. The odds are like points. I want it to happen so bad. I, I'm so tempted <laughs> right now. Bad. I'm tempted to. That pick That being the Bills. said, I'm taking the Patriots and the pick them. Take the Bills just out of pure spite. I'm. I'm, I'm You're I'm, gonna be wrong. I click. Listen. Do, I'm. Listen. I'm clicking the pen. Listen. Listen. I'll join you in my Bills pick. Hold on. Wait a second. You hear that? I'm clicking my pen. I'm writing it down. Let's see. I'm writing bills down. I'm doing it. I don't even care. I'm picking the bills. F it. Uh, but I, I, I'm in all real. I mean, a gun to my head. Patriots are winning this game. But in the pick them, you're damn right I'm picking the Let's do it. Uh, upset. Upset alert. <laughs> this is happening. Speaking of upset, I'm upset as a Green Bay Packers fan. Uh, and JJ probably is also upset as a New York Jets fan. Uh, oh this gosh. weekend, they get to play each other, and we get to be upset together. Dude, uh, the season is definitely not what I thought it would be with the Jets. <laughs> hey, well, like okay. I that every season from a Jets fan. Okay. <laughs> no, listen, as I a was... Packers fan, this season is definitely not what I thought it was going to be. But you know what's crazy <laughs> is we scored 22 points against the Texans last week. And we, I'm so mad we beat the Bills the week before that. What the hell was that? But I just, I like what I've seen from Sam Darnold. As of late, um, Jamal Adams is a freaking beast. And the Jets have three players in the Pro Bowl this year. That's pretty good. Three players, which is, I think, the first time in a long time we've had three players in the Pro Bowl. Yeah. Um, that being said, with Aaron Rodgers playing on uh, on Sunday, I think they beat the Jets. Yeah, I don't know why he's playing. I get it. I mean, like, it's not. I, I don't. I don't know why he's playing. It's an away Aaron game. Rogers, wait, so who's playing? Rogers? Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is still playing. There. Yeah, why? but I, why? Dude, I don't know. The playoffs are over, and I honestly think he's like whatever happened to his knee in Week One. It really was serious, and he, they just they just glossed it over and like healed it the the whatever I don't even know the natural way. I don't know what it was, but he Brett farved it. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to think that like this season's gonna end, and they're gonna be like, yeah, he just needed some minor surgery on that kneecap. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to come back and be like, he played the whole season with a, a broken leg. I don't know. They're going to say some stupid crap right there to kind of cover their butts for the season. But uh, well, Mike Ma- playing now. He should have surgery tomorrow. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why it hasn't happened yet. But apparently, they're just going to roll it out this season as a squad. And if he gets hurt, I am going to snap a neck. It's the dumbest. I hate when they do that. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. He can get hurt. No. Yeah. Cam Newton. They're they Out of the playoffs. Yeah. Panthers Stop. pulled Cam Newton. I don't know why. I don't know why. Let let Kaiser play. You know what I mean? I don't mind watching Kaiser play. He's not the you know. I mean, the Falcons league. should pull Matt Ryan. In all honesty. Yeah. What's weird is it's an away game. It's not even like it's like they're just you know it's the last game at Lambeau and they're like you know come on Rogers you can do it but it's it's in New York you know I don't understand the the draw here but anyway I'm, he might have like an incentive bonus certain amount of plays touchdowns whatever where you. He could. That might be it. He could be some sort of incentive or something. But honestly, I don't. I might pick the Jets in this one. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm just. I'm going all out. I'm picking the Jets. I don't think it's even going to happen right now. I don't know why Rodgers is playing. No Aaron Jones, by the way, too. Aaron Jones put on IR. I don't know. If we beat the Packers, I'll be so mad. I. That's exactly what's going to happen. Then we're both going to be furious. I'm going to be furious that Rodgers is playing. Okay. What? How, how come these like the Packers like? Get rid of their older receivers like Jordy Nelson. Instead of instead of like just moving down the depth chart to like three or the four receiver, they like cut him. 
Uh, Why don't you just keep them and then like have Devontae? Well, it's because because they're paying they're being paid a lot more money, and as a veteran, you there's like a vet minimum too. So you're not going to pay somebody a good a good amount. Like Jordy Nelson was making good money on a on a pretty hefty contract. You can't just be like, hey brother, thanks for all your service. Uh, could you just take less money? You know what I mean? It's like disrespectful. So you just say. <laughs> Look, we're going to let you go. You can go find more money elsewhere. We're going to continue to pay out your contract, but we can't have it hit our caps, our cap space anymore. That's yeah, why. Yeah, but he's, he's still making less on the Raiders. He's not making as much as he was in the Packers as the Raiders. I know, but 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 he's still ma- he's finished like the Packers are still paying that contract. He doesn't just disappear. Like somebody he's still making the money he signed for. Really? I thought it's not it's not guaranteed. Well, no, it's not all guaranteed, but he still gets a piece of the bonus. I, I don't know. It's it's weird how that works, but like there's there was an out they took it, and he then took his butt somewhere else to get paid. And he's doing fine money-wise, but for him to re-sign there, or if they would have just kept him on the roster, it would have cost the Packers more money than it would have been worth. Yeah, Plus, he was coming off injury, so they didn't know what he was going to be like. Yeah, and Rodgers, that still- really that really pissed Rodgers off, though. Like, he, you could tell. Like, even this, this whole season, I mean, he's just been kind of butthurt, but that's probably not helped, the fact that he, that was like his best friend on the team, too. Yeah, so. even if he's not, like, to Jordy Nelson, Old, he's still he's still good enough to be a number three, four on a play, yeah. You know what I mean. He's got his moments, but yeah, I mean, obviously throughout the year with Cobb being hurt, and we've started freaking three rookie wide receivers for like half the season. So yeah, I don't know, but I'm I'm actually picking the Jets in this game because eff it. I'm I'm clearly delusional. I've, I'm on my my Nyquil's kicking in. I don't know what's going on, but I'm picking the Bills over the Patriots, and I'm picking the Jets over the Packers. It's twenty. It's almost twenty nineteen, people. Give it the times. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I mean, uh, the Jets clearly were, have been trying these last two weeks. It's it's certainly possible that that they do, but I want them to lose. I want Bull to get Bulls to get fired, um, and I want them to have a high draft pick. Right now, they're at number three again. Okay, well, they're about to jump up a little. Well, now they're going to fall back a little bit lower after they get this win this weekend. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Miami Dolphins, a little matchup of some Florida teams. Um, the Jaguars really suck. I don't know how or why they do, but here we are. They were like in the freaking AFC championship game last year, and now they're battling the Jets for the top pick in the draft. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, the Dolphins with Tannehill back are good, and like you said, they have a legit chance to make the playoffs. I guess le- not, maybe not legit. But they have a chance to make the playoffs. I'm taking the Dolphins in this one, um, just based off of the fact that they actually have a reason to play. I Same. think the ja- I think the Jags have to be the biggest disappointment. I agree. Yeah, like, how do you go from that good to this bad? I'll ask really- Blake Bortles. How does he go from just I don't even know. Did, I don't know. He he's like the most. Have you ever seen him in an interview? The dude just like he sees like a butterfly and he just drifts. Like he just goes with the flow. It's weird. That's how the football team is, apparently. They just have all adopted that uh, mentality where it's like, yeah, you know, there's a good team coming to town. We're going to we're gonna play our best game, and, uh, you know, whatever happens at the end, you know, we're going to – like the Steelers game, they just choked it away. They had it, and they're just like, you know what, F it. They want to give it away. We're trying to score more points that they score, and if we have scored more points at the end of the game, then we'll have won. That's it. But if we don't, <laughs> then we'll have done our best. That's it. Yeah. And they don't really care. I don't know what's going on there. They're, 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 what's sad is they have like a top tier NFL defense. If they could just get like a competent quarterback. And, Sounds and, like the Cowboys. Oh, my gosh. I, I, honestly, if Dak was on the Jaguars, they'd be like 100% better. I'm just saying. Or Flacco. Flacco there, too, would be nice. But we'll see. I don't know if they're going to drive. I'm picking the Dolphins in this one. I don't, I mean, is there anything else to really say? What are you guys picking? Definitely the Dolphins. Though, dude, I can't believe they're an eight and eighteen, like a seven and sixteen. I know. I just don't. I just don't get it. But yeah, I don't either. Especially, whatever. especially you when know, they can knock the Patriots out of the playoffs and screw it. Yeah, you know, let's go for it. Especially when Osweiler was the quarterback for a while too, and they were still winning games with him. It isn't. It's just weird. They're just a weird. And team Matt this Moore, season. I thought. Was it Matt Moore? I don't know. I thought I, Osweiler Moore. was in there too. I don't know. I thought it was Brock. I thought it was Brock. Oh, it Rocky. could have been Brock Lobster. I, I don't know. I'm paying too much attention to them. Yeah, I don't think anybody has. Uh, anyway, the Chicago Bears are are actually a really good team for some reason. It kind of makes me sad. Uh, are taking on the San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco. Does that does that mean anybody uh, will be picking San Francisco this time? Negatory. Yeah, I don't. I'm not either. The Bears are good and 
while the 49ers are fun to watch, I do love me a George Kittle. And by the way, Those I said bits. if Kittle's if Kittle would have if would if I would have won the championship, I would have got a George Kittle jersey, and I'm not even kidding. Every year I say it. If I win it, if I ever win the Chunk Fantasy Football League, my best player on my team, I'm buying their jersey, regardless of team. It's not even if it's not a Packers team. It would have been Kittle <laughs> this year. It would have been David Johnson like a couple years ago. I was so ready. And here I am, sadly, fighting for third place. <laughs> But anyway, we're this one, and that's pretty obvious. Uh, the Rams are taking on the Cardinals. This one we'd like to think would be obvious. Uh, I would like to think this is probably the game where Jared Goff gets his head out of his behind, and they probably trash the Cardinals pretty good here just to kind of set everything straight. Um, so I'm going to take the LA Rams in this one. Same. Yeah, I am going to take the Rams as well, but, dude, what happened? I mean – I have teams finally figured out that they can stack the box and challenge Goff to throw the ball. That's what's happening. I'm, That's what's happening. And you know what? It's weird. It's, he was lighting people up in the beginning of the season. When Now we, I think he's just in his own head. I don't know what it is. Maybe people just aren't getting open like they were, but they, I don't know. Yeah, I, thought, I, I, don't I, know. I was thinking Goff was good. He is good. He, even Gurley's not having... Yeah, I mean, they, okay. I don't. Gurley, I think, got hurt in, in the middle of the last game. I don't know if he wound up coming back or not, but he got hurt. I think he's going to wind up playing this week. But um, nobody, nobody can run again and rush. Yeah. Nobody can do it. So I, I do think this they is the game. They literally fill every gap. Yeah, Goff will figure it out. He'll, he'll obviously take care of it. So I mean, I think this game is going to be very simple. It'll get them back on track and ready for whatever Week 17 matchup they've got, and then a playoff run there on after. So. I'm going to pick the Rams in this one. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, This next game, potentially the game of the week, the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the New Orleans Saints. I don't know which way I'm leaning in this one. Well, it's in New Orleans, so maybe that does kind of lean us a little bit towards the Saints, but uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good game to watch. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking the Saints. They have the best record in the NFL. They have probably the best skills, positions, in the NFL, their defense has been doing much better in the second half of the season. The Steelers have been hot and cold. Um, and this story may be different, you know, in the playoffs when the Steelers somehow always manage to go beast mode. I just, the saints are definitely the better team. Um, they've lost some disappointing games this year, but, um, I mean, I just, they're on fire right now. Yeah, they lost to the Cowboys. Who freaking does that? Uh, a lot of teams, Doyle. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. MVP. Uh, I'm Man. taking, yeah, I'm taking the Saints in this one. I Again, I, I said in the beginning of the year, whenever, and we're going to go back whenever we do the follow-up at the end of the year of our predictions, I actually thought the Steelers were going to be the worst team in the AFC North. And, uh, really? And here we are. The Steelers are going to win the division again. Uh, anyway, yeah, eight and eight, probably. <laughs> I know it's so <laughs> trash. I'm so angry. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Saints in this one. But the, again, the Steelers are very good. I don't think Connor plays in this one, though. I, don't, I think they're holding James Connor out one more week. Um, I don't know why. Well, Brad I guess obviously if he's hurt. What's that? I think I think the Steelers know they're going to lose, so you might as well keep keep him on the bench, get him healthy for the playoffs. Yeah, that makes sense. You'd obviously want him healthy. So, yeah, just roll out whatever you got. Samuels has actually been playing pretty good, but, yeah, I think the Saints are going to win this one. So we can move on to the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks are kind of, I don't know, they're, they're weird. It's like, are they good or are they not? I don't understand. This one's in Seattle. This is Sunday Night Football taking on the Chiefs. I think the Seahawks are pretty good. I don't think the Chiefs, I don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs. I don't think that's going to happen. I think this will be a good game. I do too. I think it's going to be a good game. That's why I don't understand the the Seahawks. They like to just run it down their down teams' throats, and the Chiefs can't stop a nosebleed sometimes. So um, I don't know. I think Chris Carson probably goes off. Mike Davis even pops in. They do a good back and forth, and they'll run it probably fifty times in this game. But I think they still lose. They'll run out of time. They'll run themselves out of time and lose probably by three three points. I don't know. I I think the Seahawks probably. I mean, they haven't really beat any good teams this year. Um, They beat the Packers, but the Packers have been hobbling all season. Hey, man, you watch your mouth. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I think think the Seahawks have played pretty much everyone really well. They always play hard. Yeah, well, that's the story of the Seahawks. They play 
up to the competition and they play down to the competition. Yeah, that's about right. It would be close, I think. I mean, they lost to the 49ers Damn. two weeks after spanking them 43-16. Yeah, I mean. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But Russell Wilson, what are they? What's their record right now? I don't even know. Eight and six. Eight and six. If he wins one of the last two games, I think he's like the first quarterback ever to win, to have winning seasons in his first like seven seasons or something. He's been in the league for seven years already. Six or seven, I think. I don't know what it was, but yeah, he's the, he'll be the only quarterback ever to have a, wi- a winning season in his first like six seasons straight. I don't know how, how he does does it, but dude's a savage, and he actually did it at the expense of a couple Packers. Couple good Packers teams. Uh, I'm a little butthurt <laughs> about, but anyway, uh, I'm taking the Chiefs in this one, though. Um, yeah. Although Chiefs, I, I wouldn't be shocked Chiefs. that the Seahawks pull off some weird in Seattle thing. I don't know. It's possible. Me and my uh, my colleague Cornelius, we've been doing a Mahomes watch. Uh oh. Um, every week we we see where he's at to see how far away he is from breaking the yards and touchdown record. Um. Don't think he's going to actually manage it, but he's only 11 touchdowns away, and it was something like 12, 1,300 yards, so, or maybe less than that, maybe like 900 yards. So he's, he's had a stellar, stellar season. Um, and if he, I mean, dude, if he throws for like 400 yards and three touchdowns, he, he's, uh, he's going to have like a top five quarterback season he's almost as good as flash gordon as seen in madden um yes <laughs> but Which, yo did you get madden yet i did not i did not but i the, i'm tempted now but that's like the end of the season now i'm like sad i don't even know like it's got to be like a nickel somewhere right can i scoop it somewhere cheap you get it used at gamestop uh i want I, I did i didn't get any sports games this year which is weird that's how i like stay in the loop and i didn't get any uh i didn't get madden i didn't get 2k i, I wanted to get both and i just i just didn't get around to it and Maybe I'm trying to stick it to the man subconsciously, but uh, anyway, yeah. we can move on to the last game of the week, Monday Night Football. The, probably the, the best l- game. Absolutely. Definitely my nomination. Uh, the Denver Broncos taking on the Oakland Raiders. Folks, we have a doozy here. Monday Night Football. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a, an awful Monday night. People, I think this is the one where people, like, they probably think the season ended after that game, the Chiefs and the Seahawks, and they're like, they're like, oh, yeah, football's on still. There's still another Monday night game. And this is this is they turn it on and realize the score is three to three in, in the third quarter, and then they fall asleep. That's what this game's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Broncos because I just don't like the Raiders. Um, but that's really all I have to say on this one. Broncos, um, I got a question. Do you guys think that Witten is bad as oh, dude, he's the worst? You talk about Witten like the announcer Jason yeah. Witten. <laughs> yeah. Um I you know what? I couldn't I don't know that I could do Better? I think I could do the same, though. I think I could do the same. No, dude, you'd be way better. I don't know, man. I, I used to love Jason Witten. He was like, he was Mr. Automatic. He's like one of the best tight ends to ever play. And you just hear him on Monday nights and you start to forget, man, I guess he's not so reliable anymore. Maybe he's <laughs> just, his performance has is, is clearly gone down since he's left the NFL because he's not interesting at all whatsoever. Yeah, he is like the white bread of the NFL players. I don't know. And he does like he like just talks weird sentence like sentence formation super weird. He's like, he like he's like he's like that. It. Yeah, he's like that uh, Michael Scott where he's like sometimes I just start sentences and I don't even know I don't even know where I'm going with him and I just keep talking Dude, until I find John the end. Madden. Like that's bring that's, back John Madden. Is, what is he doing? Is he still alive? Like honestly, uh, John Madden is 82 years old. That's it. Okay, yes, he is still alive. That's good. Okay. Because I was genuinely concerned that he passed away. I had not heard from him in decades. He has been He has been kind of uh, MIA. That's good. He Maybe deserves he has, it. Like, he's just Alzheimer's or something. He's old, though. 82 uh, is pretty old. He's an old man. Yeah, well, well there's dude, actually... Uh, give me anybody. It, yo, here. Let, give me just a second. Here's my NFL soapbox for, of the week. Dude, Tom Coughlin's I'm... still in the NFL. He's 72. Dude, Tom Coughlin, at least, is a two- or three-time Super Bowl um, compared to Jason Witten, who never won. Oh, I thought you were comparing him to John Madden, who oh, is no, a no, no. No, 20, I, I 27-time mean, Madden champion. Yeah, dude, Madden is Madden. But, like, 
what frustrates me the most about NFL announce that they very rarely actually talk about the strategy of the game. Oh yeah. All they talk about is the stupid storylines that don't matter. Like don't like this guy used this- to this guy used to play okay. basketball in uh, college. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if Ryan Fitzpatrick went to Harvard. I don't care. Yeah, tell me about the defense and the cover and stunts that's, that the linebackers are running. That's why Tony about, Tony Romo's the goat, dude. Tony Romo, I could listen to him. Dude, Tony Romo is like it's it's like night and day between him and Jason Witten. I, I just, dude, I don't know. I I just like get strategy because it. I need something to distract me from the 500 penalties per game that get called yeah i know i I hate the penalties it seems like there's so many flags it's like 50 percent every other game every i feel like is a flag yeah it is it's it's very annoying obviously the i don't know i'm trying to i'm trying to find a way to defend jason witten but it really is kind of like him and like it's i don't know how he could get put into that position right it's monday night football that's prime time every single week you have a job they should like just, they just get rid of Monday Night Football, and then everybody will be happy. It seemed like they just hired him like the day he retired. Yeah, like somebody, job. like somebody in the executive you know office good? was just like Jason Witten, man. He he slept with my mother, so I you know, I owe him. <laughs> like, I, you know, I don't understand. I don't get it. It's just weird. But anyway, this is where we are. I maybe next season they'll revisit it. Probably will, but um, I don't know. It, it's weird. This Monday Night Football game is going to suck, though, so maybe maybe Jason Witten might be the best part about it. Who knows? <laughs> Dude, give me, like, T.O. or Chad Ochocinco. Those guys are hilarious when they're on. Oh, you're you're looking for, like, a uh, a players only or, like, a what is it, a, a Area 21, like Kevin Garnett? <laughs> you want Kevin, like, a, like, an ex-players broadcast where it's just, like, off the wall stuff? I think that would be kind of fun, actually. Dude, you know who my favorite announcers are in sports? is the uh, Mets announcers. They they mess around. They talk about the history of the sport. You know, the, especially when the Mets are doing really bad, they just kind of stop talking about the game and start talking about really funny stuff. Yeah, they so they're... Fun at each other. So they're just like, like ad-libbing they're the... they're not taking it seriously. Yeah. Like, Jason Wynn is taking it seriously and he's bad. So you're telling me these these announcers are ad-libbing basically the entire season? Dude, Keith Hernandez <laughs> and the... Uh, they're just... They're freaking hilarious. Okay, that's cool. No, watch, listen, watch I listen, I like Mets, that. Watch a Mets game next year uh, at home. They're really funny. Okay, all right. Please don't make me do that, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it for you, though, bro. I'll do it. Uh, I'll anyway, a good one. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we've made it through week 16 in the NFL. If you're listening still, thank you. Uh, it's the Chunk Podcast. You can find us at the Chunk Pod, literally any social media. Uh, we've been doing a little more video game streaming uh, on Twitch. You can find us over there. Um, and at, it's the chunkpod.com as well if you want to get more information. But please follow us. You can listen to this podcast if you're listening to it on an unsavory uh, podcast platform. There's much more savory ones out there, like Spotify iTunes, Google Play, uh, wherever you would like to describe your your podcast, I don't know, location. Savory might not be the best word for it, but uh, you can find us anywhere. Just Google search The Junk Podcast, and uh, you can freaking listen on YouTube, too, if you really wanted to, but, you know, wherever you go want to find it, that's fine. I'm literally about to pass out. I need some more NyQuil. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for listening, and uh, we'll be back later with another Chunk Podcast. See ya. Chunk it up. Chunk it up. Chunk it up.